in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's reading it's the 23rd of april saturday of the easter octave this day is marked as world book and copyright day by the unesco on this 23rd of april we remember blessed teresa maria of the cross manetti she was born on march 2nd 1846 her baptismal name was bettina At the age of 21 she rented a home with two other women who dedicated themselves to a life of prayer penance and charity they cared for the sick and the poor and taught catechism to children they were inspired by the writings of saint teresa of avila and had a special devotion to her many other women joined the small group the women were admitted to the theresian third order and bettina took the new name of teresa maria of the cross two years later she joined the discalled carmelites as a nun In 1874 she founded the Congregation of Carmelite Sisters of St Teresa. She died on April 23, 1910 in Italy and was beatified by St John Paul II in 1986. Blessed Teresa Maria of the Cross pray for us. my dear friends let's now focus our attention on the first reading of the day a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 4 verses 13 to 21 In those days when the rulers and elders and scribes saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated common men they were astonished and they recognized that they had been with Jesus but seeing the man who was healed standing beside them they had nothing to say in opposition but when they had commanded them to leave the council they conferred with one another saying what shall we do with these men for that a notable sign has been performed through them is evident to all the inhabitants of jerusalem and we cannot deny it but in order that it may spread no further among the people let us warn them to speak no more to anyone in his name so they called them and charged them not to speak or teach at all in the name of jesus But Peter and John answered them 
whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge. For we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard. And when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of the people. For all were praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. After reading this account of Peter and John, we may wonder, what's their secret? Here are two poor, uneducated men preaching the gospel right under the noses of the most powerful men in Israel. They are so successful that the religious leaders have to call a special meeting just to figure out what to do with them. If only our witnesses to Christ was this effective. Stories like this move us to ask, did the apostles have something going for them that we don't have? In some ways, they did. They had spent three years in the company of Jesus. He had taught them the way to freedom, peace and joy. They had watched him cure the sick, cast out demons, and raise the dead. And in his name, they had also done these things. Now, they had come to testify to the greatest miracle of all, his resurrection from the dead. There was no way they could be quiet now about everything they had seen and heard. But for all the special blessings, these men were just like us. They were prone to weakness and sin. Without divine help, they would never have been able to do what they did. That help, the power of the Holy Spirit, is just as available to us as it was to them. The Spirit wants to fill us all with God's presence so that our thoughts, words and actions are charged with His anointing. In fact, when the Spirit is with us, we are doing far more than passing on a series of religious truths. We are passing on Jesus himself. We may not be as eloquent as Luke portrays Peter and John in this reading. But that's no reason to be discouraged. Rather, we can ask the Spirit to show us how He wants us to announce this Gospel. Do we have a testimony to share when the moment arises? Can we relate simply and directly what Jesus has done for us? Or can we share the Gospel in other ways? such as lending a hand when someone needs it or serving in our community? 
we are walking around with the fire of God's love in our hearts. All he is asking us to do is pass it on. Lord, I want to be your witness in this world. Today, send me to one person who is searching and show me how I can help them find you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the responsorial that we have today, Psalm 118, is a continuation of yesterday's responsorial. In today's passage, we hear that the Lord is my Savior and that I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Today's passage ends with I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my savior. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response I will thank you Lord for you have answered me. I will thank you Lord for you have answered me. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my savior. There are shouts of joy and salvation in the tents of the just. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. The Lord's right hand has done mighty deeds. His right hand is exalted. The Lord's right hand has done mighty deeds. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord punished me, punished me severely, but did not hand me over to death. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter and thank the Lord. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. I will thank you, Lord, for you have answered me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Novena Prayer to Our Lady of Mount Carmel In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Mother of God, we greet you as Queen and Mother of Carmel. You were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of the Mother of the Word Incarnate. We dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage. We glorify the Holy Trinity by honoring you and in our many needs, we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession. Jesus, your Son, was so obedient to you on earth, will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf. With this trust and unbounded confidence, we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your Divine Son the favors we request in this novena. Having experienced the efficacy of your prayers, we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor if it is for the glory of God and for our good. Amen. Let us pray for our petitions. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help and sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. 
to thee i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen our lady of mount carmel pray for us thanksgiving prayer holy mother of god and queen of carmel we your children come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude as mother of our spiritual life you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our heavenly father who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures christ our lord we recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession in particular we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapular with faith and love and finally we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs we implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end to your son our lord jesus christ who is lord forever and ever amen let's pray for god's blessing may the lord jesus be with you to defend you may he be with you to sustain you may he go before you to show you the way may he follow you to guard you from above may he bless you with the father and the holy spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen brothers and sisters we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially brother hilary b rodriguez and brother richard francis both are carmelites aaron arthur menezes from mumbai presently in oman helen fernandes from bengaluru joseph de souza from kanjur marg mumbai wish you all a happy birthday god bless you gerald and monica lobo from mudbelle presently in dubai are celebrating their wedding anniversary today congratulations dear friends may god bless your family life and we pray for the departed soul of santu was from sakleshpura hasan valerian suarez from sastan udupi 
first death anniversary and Anthony Alfonso from Car Mumbai. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. बहुन बड़ी नो आज जे को जन्म दिवस आचरण करता तंसो आमी मुगान उडास करता हूं प्रत्येक जाऊन ब्रादर हिलेरी रोड्रिगस ब्रादर रिचर्ड फ्रांसिस दोगी कर्मिले एरन आर्थर मिनेस मुंबई आता ओ मानता हूं हेलेन फर्नांडिस बेंगलोर ता हूं जोजफ डिसोजा खंजूर मार्ग मुंबई ता हूं जन्म दिवस संभ्रम तुमका हैप्पी बर्थडे मनता हूं देव आशीर्वाद तुम्हारे मगता हूं जेराल्ड मोनिका लोबो मूड बेड़े आता दुबई तुम लग्न जीवित सोला वर्स संपयत शाबासकी तुमका तुम्हें कुटुंब जीवित नंदन जाऊ दी मुगने देवदीन संतु वास सकलेशपुरा हसन तुम वलेरियन सुवारेस सस्तान उड़पी तुम एंटनी अल्फोन्सो कार मुंबई तुम हंका सर्वेस पर देव सस्निक विषय फोव कर सुमेस्तक एक बैसो दीस मगता फिर मेडिया मोगसो